Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to dive into how you can leverage Microsoft Copilot in Excel to handle table lookups. Now, my name is Victor Cuevas and I'm the founder of the Knowledge Jar. In this channel, you're going to learn about how to use AI for your business, job, or personal use. Now, I do appreciate a like and a subscribe to help get the video out to others. Also, check out the free resources in the comment section below. Now, let's get started. Many of you who use Microsoft Excel have at some point had to find information from another Excel workbook or worksheet in order to bring it into your current data set. This is where you leverage a lookup function in Excel such as VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP. Well, Copilot can handle your lookup request based on a single prompt. Let's head over to Excel to check it out. Okay, using our HR data, the first task is to find the manager name. Now, we have a list of employees and the employee ID. This list also contains managers in the employee ID. We also have our manager ID. And what we wanna do is we wanna add a column for the manager name. We're gonna let Copilot work its magic. First, let's head to our ribbon and click on the Copilot button on the top to enable it. Now enabled, our prompt window, I'm gonna enter, create a column name called manager name. Extract the manager name data from the employee name field. Use the manager ID column and the employee ID column as the link for the lookup. Now go ahead and hit execute. I'm gonna scroll up and we have our proposed manager name column. It says retrieves the manager name for each employee by matching the manager ID with the corresponding employee ID and returning the associated employee name if no match is found. It leaves the cell blank. Okay, that makes sense. Now in the formula, it's using the X lookup function, which is good. What we can do now is scroll down and insert the column. I'm gonna cut, scroll to the left, next to manager ID, insert cut cells, this is great. So look at Corey Taylor, I'll do here. I'm gonna make sure that Corey Taylor is in this list. So I'm gonna type in Taylor and there she is. Now let's look at a different scenario. So in this first example, we completed a lookup from the same worksheet, which is the employee's worksheet. Now in this new example, I'm gonna head over to positions and what we need is data from the positions worksheet pulled into the employee's worksheet. We're gonna bring in the data for position description by linking position ID here in the position worksheet to, back to employees, to the left, the position ID column in the employee's worksheet. Now. In the prompt window, I'm gonna enter, create a column position description and extract the position description from the position worksheet. Use the position ID column in both worksheet as the link. Go ahead, execute, I'm gonna scroll up and Copilot has created the position description. So fetches the job title for each employee by matching their position ID with the corresponding position ID in the positions table and return the associated position name. We can also check out the formula. This X lookup does make sense. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to scroll down, insert column, go ahead and cut to the left, next to position ID, insert cut cells, and there we go. So this wraps up the adding formulas column section. So next we're gonna work on functionality around sorting, filtering, and highlighting. So I'll be seeing you in the next lesson.